I don't think anyone appreciates how crazy the year we just went through really was. In the first hour alone of 2023, the US confirmed nine you-know-whats. We saw massive floods in California. The pension reform strikes began in France. The cartel went to war with the police after they arrested El Chapo's son. And Italy's most wanted mafia boss was finally arrested after 30 years on the run. But hey, at least this finally dropped. We kicked February off with the US blowing up the sneaky Chinese spy balloon. Over 50,000 people died in the Turkey-Syria earthquakes. New Zealand announced a national emergency for only the third time in their history. And to top just the month off, we had this. This is a matter of life and death. This controlled release will actually take place and you are in imminent danger. In March, we had the TikTok ban hearing. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? GPT-4 release and stunned the world with how fast AI is progressing. Uganda made being gay illegal. It was a W year for killer whales, as not only did two of them kill 17 sharks in under 24 hours, but orcas as a species started ramming and sinking human boats. Oh, and also in March, we got this. Video originally shared on Twitter showing a bulletproof fold-out safe room installed inside of an Alabama elementary school. In April, for the first time in history, a US president was indicted. De France riots were still on Going. And they even built a wall across a road. And the man who fathered 550 children worldwide was ordered to stop donating his sperm. In May, King Charles was crowned. Netflix officially rose their prices. And thousands flocked to see the miracle nun that didn't, for some reason, decompose properly. As we made it halfway through the year, Apple dropped its first look at the Vision Pros. The massive Canadian wildfire started and the smoke made its way to New York City. Double-decker airline seats from hell went viral. A Nigerian chef broke the world record cooking for 96 hours non-stop. And how could we forget about this? A submersible vessel which takes people to see the wreck of the Titanic has gone missing in the Atlantic Ocean. In July, we mourned the death of Twitter as it moved to X. Threads launched and people used it for about a day. We had the Jaws kid looking for friends in July. I need, I need, I need some friends, like, really bad. 2023 made history as the hottest year on record, with Europe being blasted with a massive heat wave, and we witnessed the shocking wildfires in Greece. We also had the first ever alien hearing in Congress. Oh, and this. Yes, yes, yes. In August, we saw Kai Sinat starting a riot, Tory Lanez getting sentenced to 10 years in prison, Japan releasing treated radioactive water into the sea, and tragically the devastating wildfires that ripped through Hawaii. However, we also saw India landing on the moon, the first giraffe being born without any spots, Lil Tay dying and coming back to life, and of course, this drama. China yes. is denying that a bear at a zoo is actually a human in a costume. September was the month of the iPhone 15 release and everyone's phones started cracking. The hot chip challenge killed a high school student. The XL bully got banned in the UK. And of course, this. In October, the war between Israel and Gaza began. A worldwide travel warning was put in place for US citizens. The world's oldest dog died, Matthew Perry died. And the first concert was played in the Las Vegas sphere. In November, we got introduced to good old young, truly humble under God. OG4 Fortnite returned, and Omegle was permanently shut down. And then finally in December, the GTA 6 trailer actually dropped. Riz was named Word of the Year, and Taylor Swift was Person of the Year. The Cybertruck was released, and the Iceland volcano finally erupted. I mean, what a year we had together. And no doubt the topics I cover in 2024 will be just as weird and wonderful as this one. I wish you all the absolute best, and of course, as always, I'll keep you guys updated.